Okay, so continuing our graphics, it looks like there's a little bit better way to go. It's kind of a more uh, advanced and improved part of the graphics library. Again, I'm using the tutorial that I found here as just a template to illustrate what I'm doing. So here's a better way to draw the lines. We have a line 2D double or float object and so then you just call the draw method and pass that in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and using my existing code that I had last time let's see, make sure we get the parens right here pop that right in there and then this of course is going to be start x Start Y, end X, and end Y. And so that shouldn't change things too much, except that now um, it's looking for uh, double values here. So Let's see, I could do this with float, but that wouldn't matter. I still have to cast all these. All right, so why don't we just go ahead and change these up here to doubles. And uh, we'll continue here, so. Alright. And, uh, whoops. And then this is not end X and end, let's see, yeah, we're drawing a line. I think this is still going to be end X and end Y. So let's go ahead and change these. The difference is it uses a uh, bounding rectangle for some of the figures, but the lines don't. They just use endpoints. Alright, let's give this a shot and see if it runs. Right, still got some red ink there. I don't know what's going on here. Ah. So index and NY are all doubles. Starts. Oh, oh, I see the problem here is I've got this still set here for uh it has a next double method. This is not going to... Yep, there it is. Next double. I was afraid of that. <laughs> it this way. Mod 1024. Okay. So let me just copy this real quick. See if it likes it now here. Well, I still got a warning there. What is that? Oh, okay. So we have to. Um, all right. Now let's see what we got here. So it didn't draw anything, which probably means that I have this uh, random stuff off here. So let's see what this does. I think I want to do times 1024 here.
There we go. All right, sorry about my confusion here. Let's explain a few things. Next double returns a value which is a random double between zero and just less than one. And so then we multiply it here to get the range. And so this works the same way as our previous code, although it uses double values instead of integers, okay? Um, let's go ahead and uh, add a random here into our stroke as well. So let's say, uh, okay, I guess I want to make this a double now too, might as well. Let's see, double, oh that's a float, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so float uh, stroke width equals rnd dot next float and then uh, so let's see, make that times, let's see now, times 10 How about times 50 here? Yeah. So that should be interesting. And then we'll just change this down here to take the stroke width. Okay, let's run this one more time. Don't seem to be getting too much variation here in our stroke width, but uh, all right, I'll settle for that. All right, so that's a better way to draw lines. You use the draw method, you create a line object. You're going to see that we have a variety of other ones here uh, in the library that work the same way. Okay.